I've never put on cross rails, never used cross rails, never used a basket, never used any of that stuff. So uh, everything, everything here is, it's new. It's new to me. Um, got this sucker for free. Oh, I have a brother-in-law that, uh, he had a buddy that just had one of these he was trying to get rid of. So he said, hey, you want this? It's free, I'll take it. So what I got is a, what was that, Yaka, Yakima, Yakima, probably Yakima, a Yakima basket, and pretty decent size, I, I think. I don't know, haven't had it on anything yet. So now I'm going to attempt to throw this up there on those roof rails and see how it looks. I was really hoping, kind of had a certain amount of things I was hoping to put up there, like the spare tire. Because, I mean, if you if you own a Trailhawk or a Cherokee, you know the back's pretty small. But where the spare tire is at, if you can take that out, you, you actually increase your room quite a bit. So my hope was to put the spare up there. And then a six-gallon potable water tank, five-gallon jerry can for fuel, eight-person tent, and a canopy. All right, let me get a hold of it. Yeah, I don't know. Let's see. How this sucker works a little bit. Just trying to figure it out as I go along. And wow, so look here. See right here you kinda I don't know how well you can see that. Kinda got these brackets. And just gotta unscrew this sucker. Hope you can see that. And, uh, oh, never mind. Well, Oh, I see. So it's got a little hook. So you just loosen. Push. I don't know if you can see that at all. Push that through, and uh, then you're attached. Okay. So let's we'll see what we can do here. All right. So I got all these. These four. These four, four brackets. Uh, taken off here like that. So now. I'm going to get it up there on the roof rack and uh, and see about tightening them down. I hope it fits. That's all I know. So I, I hope it fits because I need this roof rack to work. Immediately, immediately ran into a bit of an issue there. Uh, brackets are not in the right spot, so I do need to take these, these back to you. Moving them down. A couple slots here. And then we'll be lined up. They were just too wide for the crossbar. down notches Share with you one thing I found was that actually I maybe should have measured a little bit of this before uh, before trying to throw it up there. So I ended up having to loosen up the back crossbars because as you can see, I think I think you can see can you see right there not lined up. So that's not working. 
So loosen it up and then just going to knock them forward a little bit like that. Get them lined up. And we'll just have to tighten them back. Well, tighten them back down. And and there, that looks, that looks pretty good. Right here, a little where I want it. A little five mil Allen wrench on these. Get them tight. Mosquitoes buzzing my head. And tighten the other side. And we're golden. So, you know, I kind of tried to do that a little bit rushed. So, as you can kind of, I mean, let's, I think it looks good. Looks pretty good. Uh, the Yokohama up there. I'm kind of a little nervous that it might be a little too stout. I still need to cinch that down just a a little bit tighter, but I'm pretty happy. And thinking next thing I'm gonna do is probably not tonight, but next thing I figure I'll probably do is uh, is get the spare tire out of the back, toss it up there, cinch it down, and uh, you know instead see what kind of room I have. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes, and I will video that and let you see how it goes.